So in this short video, I want to talk about how to deal with trolls. And this applies to my channel as well as others uh, as well. Um, it's, it's not exclusive to me. So I've never seen as many trolls as I have within the last few weeks, and I'm told that that's a badge of honor. Um, trolls don't necessarily watch the entire video or watch the video. They just kind of go off of that. Now, some do. But I, again, if you're a real troll, you're not necessarily paid to be doing that. And some people are not paid. They just happen to be supporting the other position. And then they're watching me. I watch the other side. And then I'm you know, dealing with what's coming from there. So there's different types of trolls is what I'm going for. Now, how do you deal with trolls? One, I, I wouldn't yell at them, curse at them, be impolite. You don't have to do any of those things. Um, so don't do that. Rise above it. I know that they're uh, advocating for something evil and they're trying to get you riled up. So you can do a couple of things. One, you could ignore them. If they're making a point, don't feel like if it goes unanswered, they win. Okay, because that's what they want you to do. Don't do that. Don't fall into it. That's a trap. What I recommend that you do is you ask them, if you're going to engage with them, ask them to cite their sources. So they'll say things that are standard Russian talking points like, you know, the coup of 2014. Really, it was a coup. Can you provide evidence that it was a coup? Please cite your sources. I find that when you, when you all ask them to cite their sources, they almost never do and they don't have anything else to say to add to that because now they're on the defense of having to cite their sources. It doesn't work the other way around necessarily because I'm regularly, routinely citing my sources through things, or you can point them to a back video of where I have said something along these lines as well. Um, but if you ask them that kind of thing, it's, it's very disconcerting. Sometimes they'll say things, and yesterday I saw this uh, a couple of times. I, saw, I mentioned Jake Bro talking about the D-Day invasion. And, uh, you know, he, the amount of ground that they took on D-Day was very small. It was insignificant for about six weeks and before they had a breakout. And there were trolls on there saying, this isn't the same. It's a seaborne invasion. It's blah, blah, blah. Or they, they would, what they're trying to do is muddy the waters and say that this isn't the same thing. And Russia is so much bigger, better, but whatever it is. Don't, don't get into that with them. Just leave it alone. Just... In fact, if you want to, you can just say troll and ignore them and just go on from there. But don't waste your time and resources on them. These are not people that you're going to convince. Um, what you're doing is throwing pearls before swine, like Christ said, and don't do it. Now, that's different than somebody that is convincible, who asks an honest question. And you can usually tell in an interaction if there's an honest question or if they're just trying to agitate. Don't fall for the agitation. That's my advice. Just leave them alone. Let things go unanswered. Give them a thumbs down and just, or just say troll and just move on. Okay? Life's too short. Spend time asking questions that are going to help you get where you're trying to go rather than fighting with people that are either so steeped in this that this is what they have going on in life or they're getting paid for doing that. All right? That's my advice. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the coffees. Thank you for watching this and for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine. I'll be back tomorrow, and I hope you will be too.